Hi guys. So next Thomas. Pulled him out. Obviously there's a lot of paint in uh, clean up and refurbishing. He's even got the photo me sticker on. What I can't understand is though, this obviously during lockdown, yet the state is actually in when it comes to condition wise is uh, very weird as if he's been in like a garden centre or something or he's been constantly showering rain every day. Anyway, pulled him out, um, turned him on. This is what we've got. We've got four flashing lights, so they work. They're all working, that's fine. So that's good. No flashing lights at the front. Probably just a bulb. Not a problem. Coin makes very dirty and dusty, but it works. Just show you. So this is the initial look at this second Thomas tank. This is the second one out of the, out of the, the lot from uh, Photometer we bought. So it's the old version. So, 650p. Cool, the coin mate works. No sound. No sound at all. Okay. It works. No sound. And, Royal Road looks clear. It lights up, it doesn't go round. So, this could be literally um, damaged wires. Um, I'm think I'm hoping, I'm hoping either the volume's turned down, which would be great, turn it up. If it's not the volume turning up, and because of the rolling road as well, I would say. Um, I would possibly say that the wiring between the toy and the base is uh, damaged mice or just literally because these are so tightly put together and I notice that this is damaged as well I'm not sure if someone tried to get into there to try and fix the problem I'd go and say it's possibly the wiring um, Maybe the motor for that's not wired up, and also the speakers aren't wired up because it's funny how the speakers aren't working and that's not working. Something there. So um, obviously the wiring links together with a big Molex plug. Um, I'd put money on that. Just to rule that out, let's quickly go into the box. At the bottom, if we can get into it. But he, he runs okay. But yeah, in bad, bad condition. All at once. Wire wool in and painting up. Obviously took the photo of me plaque off there. That's where the photo of me plaque would have been. They've left the other one on. Lights well, working fine then. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as I, not as bad as I thought it'd be. I was gonna say it's uh, a few cosmetic bits and obviously just find this just digging this problem out with this uh, sound and light. But let's just rule out now quickly while we're here. Let's find the right key. Which I believe it's gonna be a 371. Or a 6 0. Let's try a 6 0. Can we get into the base of this ride? On this one. What are we going to do on the spot? Attempt, attempt to repair. Let's see if we can get into it. So, in here. Here's the PCO or PCO2. And on the side, there it is. On the top, should I say. Next on the side of this one. Next on the back, on the back. Now that did feel like it was really low. So I've turned it up now. Right. I'm wondering if the volume was right the way down. Focus. Here we go, right, let's give it a try. It could very well be, or could, could very well be a site that wanted the volume pretty much off. I've had that myself. Come on. 
Mm, no. Let's just play with that knob. Let's see if we can get any sound. Just give me a second. So we know we've definitely got a problem with either the speaker, which is pretty doubtful. It's looking like I'm gonna put my money on the connectors between the toy and the base. This so this rail's gonna have to go on its head. On its side somewhere. Uh, basically yeah, take, we can get, I think we can, get, I'm trying to think now, these ones, these, ones, these, these are the dodgy ones, these are the ones where you normally have to take this off to get into the ride. I don't really want to do that, if I'm honest with you. That would be an absolute nightmare. I don't want to do that. So if I can get away with not doing that, we'll do it. We'll see. Right, get a finished video guys, cheers.